<laughs> Come on, X. Yo, what's up, YouTube? Before we start, make sure to smash the like button for more fire content. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. For all the newcomers, welcome to Team Island. Make sure to follow Team Island on the IG page, TikTok, Twitter, and Twitch. And let's get right into the video. Today's video is the start of a new series, Route of the Week. So each week, we're gonna try to pick a certain route and break it down from press to off man to the alignment, and we mix in a little double moves, and we'll do some slot routes. So today's route is the slant route. So first thing first, we're gonna talk about the alignment of the receiver. Majority of the time, if the ball's on the near hash, right, then the receiver is gonna line up at the bottom of the numbers. He's gonna be closer to the sideline, a little bit further away from the QB so he can have more space to run the slant route before he gets into the linebacker depth and all that. So he wants to find a window between the linebacker and us, right? And usually a slant is a quick slant. So it's a three-step slant. Receiver's gonna try to push you vertical three start hard steps and cut in right in front of you. So when we're playing this, we got to make sure we take our re-steps, take our time. We don't want to pedal immediately because the more space we give, the harder for us it's gonna, harder for us to recover to make a play on the slant. So now, first thing first, our alignment, right? So if we're playing, if the receiver's at the bottom of the numbers, we're not going to be outside leverage of him because now we're just giving away the slant, everything inside. So we're going to be smart, bottom of the numbers, about a yard full body inside of the receiver. Well, now we expect something in. If he wants to run something outside, let him run outside. We're going to get to that hip and use the sideline as a help because he has less space. So we're here, boom. If you read the QB, you're going to read the three stuff from the QB, you right? And you read, so you're going to one, two by then you take your second step you should be able to know if it's going to be a quick game or it's going to be a vertical route so make sure you pay attention to that now if you don't read the qb which is fine you can't be here and just pedal out of there because now you just created way too much space so you got to make sure you at seven take your read boom boom by the time you take your next step he should be getting ready to break in and then you're going to break on the upfield shoulder very important if you try to break in front of him you might make the play but the second time is going to be a double move you always want to make break to the upfield shoulder because just in case it's a double move he runs right into you can collision about and go with it and run with it we're going to talk about if the ball is on the far hash so the hash all the way on the other side now, this is where it gets a little tricky. Now, you gotta kinda understand the receiver's alignment. This is from watching film, how do they align and when the ball's on the far hash. Usually, the closer they are to the QB, the more likely it's gonna be an outside breaking route. The further away they are from the QB, so the most likely it's gonna be inside breaking route. So let's say it's on the far hash, you know, the, the quarterback's all the way over there. Now, since he, he will probably, he most likely won't throw a fade from this, that hash from this alignment. If he's gonna throw a fade, he's probably gonna line up a little bit closer to the hash, right? And have more space for the fade. Now, if he's gonna throw a most likely in breaker route, he'll line up a little bit wider right here. Boom. Now, that quarterback most likely throwing a fade is more less likely, right? We're gonna expect something in right here. One receiver, all, everybody is over there. A lot of space right here, big window. So if you got to make sure when you read the slant, you break on it and break to the upfield shoulder because if you miss. 12 games, two to nine, and it's back. They take the lead. So we gotta be disciplined with our eyes, disciplined with our, our break angles, and make sure we are reading the three step. If we're reading the three step and don't give up ground immediately, you wanna take your walk, boom, break to the upfield shoulder, and go make a play. Now we're gonna talk about the slant route against press. So automatically, you already know, we're taking away the inside. So we're gonna line up inside leverage. The further away he, the further away he is from the quarterback, the closer he is to the sideline, the more inside we're gonna be. So right here, I'm taking my good press stance, right? Taking away the inside. If you keep your hands up, keep your hands up. If you keep your hands down, keep your hands down. Now, you gotta make sure 
you move your feet to be in position to use your hands. Don't just try to lunge. Don't just try to use your hands without moving your feet, especially this right right here. So if I'm here, this, a lot of releases that receivers would do would give us a diamond release where the receiver try to push us outside. Boom, boom, keep going, and then cut back underneath. That's a diamond release. This is where we got to be disciplined and understand that we are going to take away the inside, so we're going to play inside leverage. We're going to move with the receiver. Have to, yeah, boom, home kick step, boom, and then he comes back in. We get hands on him, and we go make a play. Now, another release, they will try to do an inside release, right? So he goes inside, boom, and try to immediately stack us, and then run the slant. Now, this one right here is a little tricky because you is it's he's immediately going inside. So you got to move your feet. So if I'm here and he goes inside, boom, I got to move my feet, shoot that hand, right? I'm in position to shoot my hand. So now if he tries to stack us, he can't because our hand is here. And if he runs that slant, he's going to run it shorter, and we're going to be able to play the ball through the receiver's hands. So you got to be disciplined. But to, or in order to stop this route and press, very important, our eyes are disciplined on the hip or the near hip or the midline, whatever you do. And also we gotta move our feet. We can't just shoot our hands and not move our feet. So be disciplined, be patient, right? If you're here and he gives you a diamond release, boom, you can't just go all the way here because now he's gonna, we don't wanna cross over too, right? We don't wanna be here, he gives a diamond re release and we cross over because if he cross over, we're gonna have to speed turn. That's all the room the quarterback and receiver need. So you wanna be patient, understand we have this sideline if he wants to run a fade we have a sideline so if he runs a diamond boom and I shoot my hand and he keep going we have the sideline he's gonna run out of space and if he has to run that slant he's gonna run that slant around us and it's gonna be too much time so the quarterback's gonna look somewhere else so now we're gonna talk about the low red zone and goal line so this route right here you get it a lot around here so you got to be disciplined as you get closer to the goal line you don't give up, you don't want to give up too much ground. So if he's lining up at a 10, I'm gonna be at the five. You really want to kind of your alignment from the receiver. So if it's 10 yards to go to the goal line, you want to meet him halfway if you play an off man. You don't want to be at seven yards here. You could, but you ain't gonna pedal. So let's move up a little bit closer because we got help. We got the end line and the sideline. So we could be here, heavy inside, be ready to use catch technique. So now if he runs the slant, I'm here, boom, I'm moving my feet, he breaks in. I'm breaking to the upfield shoulder, getting hands on, playing the ball through the receiver, right? This is where we can be very aggressive. Play clock at five. Pass is intercepted at the goal line by Malcolm Butler. Unreal. Very aggressive, but we got to be disciplined to where we break. If he does that again, boom, and I try to beat him there and he runs a slant and go, you know what I'm saying? So we got to be disciplined and break to the upfield shoulder. Little attention to details right there. Key your eyes when you break to where your target is. So break to the upfield shoulder, get hands on, get ready to make a play. All right, so now we have the goal line right here, right? First thing first, you already know, we don't line up in the, in the end zone because if we line up in the end zone, receiver runs that slant, boom, break in, he's gonna box his up. That's all he needs right there. A good quarterback is gonna put the ball at a perfect spot. We're gonna be we're gonna be out of position to make a play. So you always wanna line up heels at the goal line. Heels, I need to tie my shoes. At the goal line. All right. Inside level. So when he's running, I don't wanna pedal. I wanna stay here, be aggressive, shuffle, move laterally, get hands on, play the ball through the receiver, or make a play. All right. It's very important down here that every move, every step is very important here. If you give up a ground, if you give up ground, you're giving the receiver more space to make their play. So you want to be able to be in position to shoot the, get your hands on them, move your feet to use your hands. Very important. Get hands on. We always want to force the outside release, especially down here, because we want to force it to the help. If he runs a slant, we take away the slant. Our body is inside. You can line him heavy inside because he's at the bottom of the numbers. So usually you'll be here, sometimes heavy inside, a whole body inside, and expect the slant. Take away the slant. All right. When you're locking up the slant, you break it, you make a place on the slant. They're going to try to throw two, three slants at you, and you're on it. They haven't completed anything, or they might have computed, completed one. They're going to come back and like, all right, he's being aggressive. That's what the offensive coordinator is saying. That's what the receiver is saying. He's sitting on my route. Let's hit him with a double move. The double move is the slant and go. So they think you're being aggressive, but you're just being disciplined, breaking on the upfield shoulder. So or you already know, same thing, you're playing off man. You're gonna be inside leverage, right? You're gonna take your walk, 
read the three step, boom, break to the upfield shoulder. If you don't read the QB, you're gonna take your walk, read the break, boom, break to the upfield shoulder. Now, this is where it comes, it's very important when we break. Before the, slip, the double move, you break to the upfield shoulder. So if he jog your up, so if I'm here, take my read, boom, boom, boom. I'm here, break for the upfield shoulder, boom. I can collision the route, get hands on him, and I'm running with him. Very important. You got to collision the route. So your eyes got to be disciplined. If we break, we don't want to be looking at the quarterback immediately, right? If we look at a quarterback, we're going to go to the quarterback. Receiver's going to take off right behind us for the double move, right? So we got to be smart. Put our eyes where we're breaking to. Locate the receiver when we break. Always locate the receiver, break to the upfield shoulder, give you a chance to get collision the route and run with the receiver. Now, when we collision the route, we're not tackling him. We're not pushing him. We're just running, quick jab. Quick jab, You one hand, boom. Put your hands back down. If he, if he runs into you, boom, protect yourself and run with him, all right? So be smart when we collision the route. We're not running there, tackling him, trying to make a tackle without the ball. Remember, to break to the upfield shoulder, collision the route so you can give yourself a chance to make a play. That's the end of the video. Remember, alignment of the receiver, bottom of the numbers, Expect the inside breaker out when the quarterback is at the near hash. When he's at the far hash, the closer he is, the most likely it's going to be outside breaking route. The further he is, most likely it's going to be inside breaking route. You got to determine that from watching film and seeing where the receiver aligns in those situations. When you're at the goal line, remember, heels at the goal line, we don't give ground. We want to make sure we move our feet, be ready to play catch technique, all right? Collision the route. When we're playing off man, take your walk steps. Don't pedal out of there immediately. Slow it down. Be confident in yourself, right? Take your walk, break to the upfield shoulder. Don't try to break in front of the receiver because if it's a double move, you already know we ain't gonna catch it. So make sure you collision the route. Give yourself a chance to make a play. Make sure to drop a like and make sure to comment down the next route of the week. Make sure to share this video with all our lost cousins. And you already know, stay blessed and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.